I'm Scott Sheeran. I'm a collision repair instructor at OSTC Southwest Campus. I wanted to make this video tonight just to give you an idea of some of the things that I have done in the past so you have an idea of what my experiences are. Plus, I wanted to tell you a few things that we have to offer your sons and daughters at OSTC. Uh, I've been in this industry actually for a long time. I was a student at OSTC at the Southeast campus way back in the later 80s. And because of the fact I had a fantastic instructor back then, Dave Hollinger, and they had a great program going even back then, is what encouraged me to get into this career path of not only going into collision repair, but also eventually teaching. Uh, because I've been in this for so many years, I've done everything from collision repair, I've been an assistant manager at a body shop, um, and I've done a lot of restoration work for people as well. It's something I really, really enjoy doing, so I'm pretty blessed. This is not a job I get up to do where I say to myself, oh gosh, it's another day, I've got to go to school. This is something I really look forward to doing every day. I really enjoy working with students. To me, they're a lot of fun. They can be a handful, but they're a lot of fun, and I look forward to every day of class. Now, as far as the students, it's a great opportunity for them. Even if they don't go into this as a career field, they may go into something related, whether it's welding or fabrication, or maybe they'll go into management. Maybe they'll own their own shop someday. Uh, I've had some great students who've gone on to own their own facilities and, and shops who are doing incredibly well right now. But even if you don't decide to do this as a career, it, it opens your eyes to the automotive industry. It lets you understand the basics of cars, how to repair them, how they're made, what they're put together with, how, they, how it works. And, and those are important traits to know. Those are really important things because if you go through life without knowing anything about cars, you can make it no problem. I mean, you know, you can pay somebody to do all your own work and your maintenance and so forth, but it always helps if you can do it yourself. And you're gonna save money too. But as far as a career is concerned, we have many, many students who end up in a career that's either in collision repair, repair, or a related field. And I like to think it's due to our class, um, from either incentivizing them with you know, uh, job opportunities, or scholarships, or certifications, all of which we offer in our class, or just being there for the student and trying to get them, give them some guidance, we, we do our best to try to give all our students an opportunity to be successful in this field. Uh, it's a one-year program. However, we have many students that come back for a second year. And usually those are the students that we put on co-op, which means they go out for work experience during the day and get some actual hands-on experience in a live shop. And that's a great opportunity for these kids because they can determine, hey, you know, if it's something I want to do, I can get my foot in the door and see if it's what I really have a passion for. And a lot of times these kids will stay in the industry because they enjoy what they do as much as I enjoy teaching them what they do. Uh, but anyways, that's kind of a, a basic idea of, of what our class is all about. Um, I don't think your son or daughter would regret ever taking the class. We have a couple great instructors. I, myself, Mr. Sharon, and my IT, uh, Mr. Svatora. We, we're both very well educated in the field. Mr. Svatora has uh, several years in industry as well. So the kids are really blessed. They have a couple instructors that really know their stuff, and that just makes it a lot easier. Um, but it's a great class. I hope your sons and daughters give it some uh, thought because I welcome anybody and everybody. There's, there's a spot for everybody in here and I always look forward to meeting new students. So thank you, have a good night and see you soon. Excellent, okay, so that was just, um, I, I just, I wanted to, uh, I was down at my shop early, <laughs> earlier tonight and I wanted to just show you a little bit um, what a paint booth looks like, okay, so that, <laughs> that's mine, excuse me. But that's just a little overview of what we have to offer with you guys. A couple other things that really are important. And one is a lot of you that take my class have a lot of hidden talents. You don't know what you're really capable of doing until you take my class. I have so many students that come in and they don't know anything about cars. And that's fine. That's the majority of my students. So don't feel you have to know anything coming into my class. But what's part of the fun for me is seeing a lot of you that take my class 
like you turn on almost like a light bulb when you realize that, wow, man, I'm, I'm pretty good at this. I can weld or I can paint or I'm really good at assembling stuff or taking things apart or doing brakes and suspension or maintenance. There's always something for you in my class that you're going to enjoy doing and always something that you're going to find you're going to be very good at. So that's a plus. We have uh, articulation agreements, guys. And, and what that means is if you go through my class with a passing grade, I think it's a B or better, you can get college credit. If you say to yourself, you know, I've had this one year of, of collision repair. I'm a senior now. I'm graduating. This is kind of cool. I want to get trained a little more. I'd like to go to a university, maybe a local college, and get a little more training. We can give you credit towards some of your classes at Oakland University, excuse me, at OCC, Oakland Community College and at Washington Community College. Those are the two that we have articulation agreements with. That's kind of neat. Uh, as far as developing skill sets and leadership skills, you're gonna develop a lot of good communication skills in my shop. You have to work with other students. This isn't like a, hey, you know, I wouldn't say, Nick, you grab a welder and go over there and for the next three weeks, you're on your own, okay? We're always working together. We're always in little groups. We're always doing individual things, but it's also cumulative too. And that's great. So, you know, communication skills, I get some kids who are quiet. And by the end of the year, the kids sometimes are the most talkative kids because they really like the program and they like interacting with the other kids, you know, as well. This is cool. I like this a lot. We offer some great certifications for you guys. They're industry standard certifications. So you take these little certification tests as we go through the program. And as you pass them, you get these permanent certifications. And these aren't like, certificates where you just like, hey, you know, I read page such and such, you know, you have to answer questions, go through modules, you got to answer some pretty tricky questions. But it's the same certifications that people have to get in industry. So when you leave my class, if you really put your all into it, you can walk away with a few dozen certifications in different areas of collision repair. And if you go into a shop, and you say, hey, you know, I, I'm a little wet behind the ears, which means, you know, I may not have a lot of experience. But I put a great effort into learning this. And these are all the certifications that I've earned while I was at OSTC. And employers want to see that because you need to look better than the next guy. And, th and that's what gets your foot in the door. So I really try to push these certifications for kids that want to, uh, to do that. If you're wondering, I can sit here all night and tell you this is the best program in the world. And I will because I truly believe it is. But what I want to show you is I've got two 30-second clips. These are previous students of mine. A couple guys that graduated, you know, two, three years ago that are in the field now. And I just want to play these quick uh, clips so you get an idea from their perspective about the program. Hi, my name is Reed Reinhold. I graduated from the OSTC Collision Program in 2020. Um, you know, the teachers are really great there. I highly recommend the program. They, you know, they're really level-headed guys. They teach you everything you need to know about it. I work in industry now and everything they taught me has really helped me further my education and thought process through this whole thing. And it's definitely would consider, if not doing this collision program, it's one of the greatest things that I've ever done with my life. It's, it beats going to high school every day. So that's Reed Reinholm. He's a, he was a past student from a few years ago. Great kid, doing great in industry. And here's just one more real quick, Lucas Williams. Hi, my name is Lucas Williams. I graduated in 2018. I work in industry now. I went through the collision program at OSDC. It was probably the best choice I made. Um, it's really helped me like move myself forward in this field. It gave me the stepping stones that I needed. Um, I would definitely recommend it for your guys' kids to do it. Scott Sharon is an awesome teacher and all the assistants there are great teachers. It was really, really fun. I enjoy going to school every day. It really gave me the motivation to get up in the morning and do it. Um, I would definitely recommend doing it. 10 out of 10, best program there is in the state. So that's just a couple people that, like I said, that were students of mine. Now, again, if you know anybody who's taken my class or maybe in my class, that's really the best view you're going to get as far as if somebody's going to like my class or not. Uh, but I can promise you this, every single, just about literally every kid that's ever taken my program will come back for a second year if they can. Okay, so that alone should tell you a little bit about the program. This is a career tree. You see this on your screen. You know, that's something we discussed at the beginning of the year. I try to make sure that you understand that if you take the class, you don't have to just go into collision repair. 
there's many facets of this industry that's, you know, hands-on skill sets and beyond. So what we do is we kind of have a little questionnaire at the beginning of the year to try to find your interests. And we try to give you a little direction on that saying, you know, according from this questionnaire, you may be really good at, in this area. And it's just something that we, we talk about and we want you to consider because, you know, at your age, you really don't know what you want to do yet. And this hopefully just gives you a little bit better. And certificates, I talked to you about the certificates. Some of them are called ASE, Automotive Society of, Society of Engineers. We give those certificates uh, every year. We have ICAR certificates, which are the Inner Industry Conference on Automotive Repair. I know that's, that's a long set of uh, words there, but what it means is that that is the creme de la creme of certificates, so to speak. In other words, if, if you walk into a body shop, you want to have your ICAR certificate. And ASC, don't hurt, they don't hurt you to have those as well. So we offer both to you. The curriculum, if you're wondering like, hey, what am I going to be doing in here? You know, it says it's, you know, collision repair and refinishing. Is this, you know, what am I doing? We have so many things you'll be doing. You could be doing welding. You could be doing disassembly, reassembly of cars. You could be working on suspensions. You could be doing brake work. You could be doing painting and refinishing. You could be doing custom painting. I can go on and on and on of all the different things we teach. And that's what's kind of fun about the class is there's something in there that you're gonna be good at and there's gonna be something in there that you're gonna like doing. So generally, you know, we're working every day. If, if you wanna learn something hands-on, this is the class that you wanna take. I'm not big on the paperwork. I'm not big on all the tests and quizzes. We do have those and we have certificates. So those are important. But when it comes to collision repair and learning these skill sets, you can't learn them out of a book. You have to do them. You have to take your hands and you actually have to touch the tools and do them. So I'm big on that. So when you come to my class, every day, your head, the back of your head should be saying, I'm going to get dirty today because you are. We're not going to be sitting in the classroom. The next screen we've got here, work-based learning. Now, what's work-based learning? This is really cool. All right. Now, you might be like, well, how do you do that? Well, let me tell you, if you come back as a second-year student, and you're a good student, and you're serious about industry, and you're like, you know, Mr. Sharon, I wanna get my foot in the door. I wanna see what it's like to do this. I don't know if I wanna do it as a career or not yet, but I wanna get a little taste of what it's really like in industry. This is where work-based learning comes in, and it's really cool. So instead of coming to class, we find you a job. And then instead of being here at the school, you go to work for that same amount of time. And when you're at work, you're getting paid. So you're getting paid to take a class and to learn because they're teaching you just like I am. You're learning a ton of new things every day you go to work. So work experience is an awesome opportunity if you want to get a little taste and if you want to see what the industry is really like, work-based industry or work-based learning is a great opportunity. If you're interested, I need you to go to ostconline.com. That's our, our school website. And you just follow the directions here where it says you scroll to the bottom of the page and you apply for the 21-22 uh, school year. Now, let me give you a heads up, okay, that it, we fill up. You know, we get a ton of kids that want to take this class. And, and that's great. You know, we, we have a great time. I'm a very laid back teacher as far as um, I'm very easy to get along with. I'm very easy to talk to. And I do... My absolute best, my assistant and I, we do our best to make things fun. You'll actually enjoy coming to my class, I can promise you that. But if you don't sign up early, you may not get in. And if you don't get in, you may regret it, okay? You see that little QR code thing on your screen? That is, if you could take a picture of that with your phone, that would be great. And what it is, it's just like a, um, yeah, I think it's a questionnaire, like where you just fill in your name, and maybe your school and a couple little tidbits about yourself um, and if you're interested. I'm not sure what else is on there. Nothing too serious. It's just a basic question here, but we kind of want to get an idea if you're interested or not. Okay. So if you could do that, that would be appreciated. 